I love science. It makes me happy. <laughs> yes, I love science. The reason I love science is because it, like, it allows me to explore the world. It allows me to, to think outside of the box. Not only do I like science, but I feel that it is the way forward. It's a way for the environment, for us humans and animals and vegetation to move forward. Without science, you will not be able to move forward in this world and in this life. Expo for Young Scientists started in 1980, some 38 years ago, by a very passionate teacher, Dr. Derek Gray. And his idea was to get children excited about science and for children to do science, not just observe it in the classroom. The wax was placed directly into the container. Learners across the country um, do science projects as part of the curriculum. They are then judged at school level. If they win at school level, they can then enter the project into a district level. If they win there, they go to the next level, which is one of 35 regional expos across the country in all nine provinces. For me, being part of expo, it's, it's very much holistic development. Because the learners learn, to, they, they not only present their projects, but they're also communicating their work to judges. So it develops their communication skills as well. And from here, from this experience of doing projects that are very research-based, the idea is for them to pursue careers in science and to go on to a postgraduate level as well. I enjoy looking at all the other projects, looking at who's my competition, seeing what things, what uh, people have invented and come up with. Such expos that are happening today, they are important because uh, there are children who are from disadvantaged background who cannot come out and they don't know how to approach funders, they don't know how to get the information, but in such expos they get exposed, they get to meet the right people in the field that they want to take. Uh, if these learners win at a regional expo, they then get a shot at the International Science Fair, which is the largest on the continent. And here they're competing among the best in the country, as well as on the continent. I like the, the atmosphere, looking around at all the different ideas that people have come up with, getting a lot of inspiration from them. Um, it's been a really cool experience so far, so I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I would have to say the most interesting thing would be the, the people. The people, it's, it's quite amazing to see what other people come up with. The young kids actually have become much more confident in the way they present. They may have some topics that maybe is not eye-catching or radical, but the way they present their uh, project the confidence that they show is really, really uh, heartwarming. It automatically calls the police in the nearby uh, neighborhood watch. During 2017, we had over 12,000 projects being presented by over 15,000 learners across the country. The promising thing that came out of 2017 is that 73% of those 15,000 learners were from our previously disadvantaged communities. School learners across the country that participate in Expo come from grades 4 to grade 12. Learners that participate at the Expos can choose from one of 24 categories ranging from agricultural science all the way to zoology. So any topic or any field that a learner is interested in will be catered for in our 24 categories. These categories are internationally benchmarked, which means that our learners can also participate in a number of international science fairs. I think it's very important because it uh, teaches the students a lot of um, uh, leadership skills. It teaches them also about themselves, it tests them 
that they it pushes them beyond what they think that they are capable of. So what grade are you in? You look like you're in grade six. Oh, grade nine. Grade nine, all right. By having an expo of this nature, where you see hundreds of projects, hundreds of participants, hundreds of schools, you then make the notion of science and technology a popular notion, and I think you help to then advance uh, interest in science and technology in South Africa, where we badly need to build uh, skills and capacity in these disciplines. Our winner also gets a tablet PC, during the International Science Fair, learners can win anything from a cash prize of 5,000 Rand, a laptop computer, all the way up to a full bursary valued at over 400,000 Rand, as well as additional competitions overseas, all expenses paid by the Expo for Young Scientists. And at international competitions, they have an additional chance of winning even further prizes. For example, two of our learners have won Harvard scholarships in the USA. The highlight for my ASCOM expert journey was when actually Proverb called my name saying that I won the bursary and stuff, you know, like it was it was a crazy moment for me. I went crazy. I danced all over the stage. I even like clambered on top of the stage because the steps were so far. You know, like it was it was a crazy moment, but a moment to remember because it was the moment that changed my life. I want to go to Stellenbosch University. So, Bazare Kodira thinks to be easy for me and pursue my career. Our strategy is, an, is a long-term strategy in order to build this as the preeminent science expo on the continent of Africa. We want to make this as big as possible and get as many learners to participate as possible in the country and in the region. So we have a vision from ESCOM side that we want this expo to grow bigger and better. We want to be the lead, but we need support from other econo economic sectors in the country. We need uh, help from other corporates to help us sponsor and achieve this vision. I see our future in these eyes of these learners and I'd like to nurture these learners from the school level. When they leave our organization, they enter university, I'd like to see them pursue their studies to postgraduate, to PhD, and one day they will be um, future Einsteins. They will be Nobel winners. In the future, I see myself being a mechatronic engineer designing things which will be beneficial to my village because looking at the amount of learners here or dropouts who don't have employment, it's quite high. No? So if I make a change in my village, then it will offer more employment for them. No? This person has actually helped me believe again that I, I can be something. I can be able to change the world with my own inventions, with my own thinking. It has got hope for me and my family. My mom has hope now that I'll be the first one to get a degree in this house, that I'll be the first one to change the situation of the house, and that I'll be the first one to actually work and actually provide for my family. So it has really changed a lot for me, and not only for me, but for the whole family. <laughs>